детям. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all coming out for tonight for this very nice occasion. I see we have a good crowd here. Um, I would like to acknowledge that we are standing on Treaty 6 territory and homeland of the Métis. Thank you, one and all, for attending the celebration honoring Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. We will now sing O Canada. It seems fitting today that we are gathered here at historic Balford Lines Park, which was dedicated by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, on the 7th of June, 2004. There is a long and unbroken tradition in the United Kingdom of celebrating royal jubilees, weddings, coronations, with the lighting of beacons on top of mountains, churches, cathedral towers, castle battlements, on town and village greens, country estates, parks, farms, along beaches, and on cliff tops. Today we are going to be lighting our torch, which you'll see here right in the, in the center. In 1897, beacons were lit to celebrate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. In 1977, 2002, uh, 2012, beacons commemorated the silver, golden, and diamond jubilees of the Queen and her 2016th, Her Majesty's 90th birthday. Today, on the 2nd of June, 2022, we are celebrating another unique milestone in our history, Her Majesty the Queen's 70th year as our Head of State and Head of the Commonwealth, her Platinum Jubilee. Some of you may have seen this today on the, on the news and it was quite the spectacle. It is, it is a feat no previous monarch has ever achieved. More than 1,500 beacons will be lit throughout the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth countries in recognition of the Queen's long service and selfless service. Beacons will be enable local communities, individuals and organizations to pay tribute to the Queen as a part of the official Platinum Jubilee weekend, which celebrations are from today, the 2nd of June, to the 5th of June. As the sun is setting, uh, across the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, individual pipers and pipe bands are being asked to play Drew Regnair, which means long to reign, from central locations of their choice from within their local communities as their personal tribute to Her Majesty the Queen. This unique tune has been specially written for this historic jubilee by Pipe Major Stuart L Liddell 2020 Glenfiddich solo piping champion and pipe major of the world champion pipe band in Veray and district pipes and drums. Following the playing of the pipe tune, a trumpeter will play the tune called Majesty. This tune was specially written in celebration uh, for the 70th anniversary. Our Legion has a pipe band and it has been in existence for some time. They've been tax practicing this tune very diligently. Without further ado, <laughs> too early, okay? So I'm gonna have to ad lib here for the next five minutes, folks. <laughs> Gotta wait five, five minutes. I can honestly say that Queen Elizabeth was some person that, is, I don't think you'd ever match her for what she's done for the Commonwealth and for her country. And as our head of state, she visited Canada 
more than any other times in any other Commonwealth country that we know of. I think uh, um, they said she visited Canada at least 22 times in her time so far. And unfortunately, she will not be seeing Canada again, so it will be her, her, uh, her son and her grandsons, and maybe her great-great-grandsons that will be coming to visit us in the near future. Um, the Pipers that we have for tonight is Jim Ramsey, Linda Lyon Walls, and trumpeter Mike Reed. They will perform for us tonight. Um, the other Pipers that we have unfortunately could not make it. Uh, but I'm sure that in future when we do have uh, um, a chance to fulfill uh, a full band, we will let the public know that uh, the band will be playing at uh, any occasions that we decide to have them play. So. <laughs> So a couple more minutes. Amazing! It's amazing how you can talk, and uh, I think you've talked ten minutes, but actually it's only been a minute. You know, so. And I can't dance either. So, Got a joke? Are you ready to go? Okay. So without further ado, I will call forward Legion Pipers, Linda Lyon Walls, and Jim Ramsey, and play this tune. Following this, Trapper Mike Reed will perform. Mr. Delaney, come forward and light the Jubilee uh, beacon, please. There you have it, folks. The Jubilee Beacon. Rosemary Falk um, could not attend. Uh, she was busy still down in August, but she sends her greetings, which I will read out. It is my pleasure to extend my warmest greetings to all attendees of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations at Balford, hosted by Legion Branch Number 9. Throughout Canada's histories, the monarch has remained central to our history and our identity as a nation. For the past seven de decades, her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has been steadfast in her service to the Crown and to Canada. Her Majesty's 70th year on the throne is a historic achievement and is with great jubilation that we celebrate her reign, service and dedication to our country. As the song Du Regner that will be played tonight means long to reign, may the Queen and the monarch remain a symbol of strength in Canada and may we 
as Canadians continue to celebrate our rich history for many seasons to come. Sincerely, Rosemary Falk, Valiford's Lloyd Minster, Member of Parliament. I now will call upon Jeremy Cockrell, MLA for the Saskatchewan Party, to say a few words. Thank you, Tim, and you know, thank you to Tim and Esther and to the Battleford Legion Number no. Nine for hosting this event. What a beautiful evening to have this uh, the pipe band play the song tonight and to light the beacon here at this historic uh, intersection in the town of Battleford. And I just say, you know, it's it's been a special day uh, celebrating the Queen uh, Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee today. And if uh, you had a chance to watch the trooping this morning. It's uh, just a reminder of how well loved this individual is in the Commonwealth and around the world. And when I think of the Queen, I think of selfless service and somebody who has really served uh, the Commonwealth and the world uh, for 70 years in such a selfless manner. And I think that's so inspiring for all of us uh, in our daily lives here. So thank you very much for being here tonight and God save the Queen. And now I'll call upon Ames Leslie, <laughs> Mayor of Balford. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. As you can tell, Tim and I are in a lot of things together, so he uh, always has to take a, a crack at, at the mayor. But um, yes, thank you everybody for coming. Um, thank you for hosting this in the town of Balford. Uh, the Legion Number no. Nine uh, has always had a great, long-standing relationship with the town of Balford. Um, so it was very easy for council to make the decision to. to be part of this tonight. Um, the Queen has always been about family and uh, today thanks to to the spirit group headed by Councillor Pruden we had a tremendous family outing today in the town of Balfour that many people attended. I think the Queen herself would have been proud to see how many families came out uh, to enjoy such a beautiful day together on, on a day of her jubilee and her celebration. Um, 70 years, wow, I, I can't even imagine um, doing 70, anything for 70 years, <laughs> let alone, you know, be at the head of a monarchy of, of so many places around the world and have so much influence in, into society and, and changes in life uh, that she has done um, and continues to do. Um, and uh, if I can be half the leader, all of us in, in, in elected positions can be half the leader she has been for, for 70 years, we all will be grateful and in a better place. So thank you for coming today and being part of this. And thank you for the Legion and, and, uh, and the RCMP for being here tonight as well to be part of this. Um, have a great night, everybody. Legion President Esther Delaney. Good evening, honored guests, comrades, pipe man, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for the Battleford Legion No. 9 to be hosting this tribute event to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II, who has been reigning over our, the Commonwealth and our country for 70 years. A special thank you to the Battleford Legion No. 9 Pipe Band for initiating this celebration and putting on such a great performance. Thank you to Tim Pop, our first Vice President, for doing all the legwork to organize this historic event, and to Edward Stoller and Dean Deary for doing the setup here at the park. Also, thank you to everyone who has come out this evening to commemorate this momentous occasion and to encourage our pipe band. Thank you. We'll ask the Pipers to come play one or two more tunes, please.
we draw a, a close to this celebration. I'd like to say that I thank everyone here for attending, for coming out uh, tonight for the celebration. Um, and it was truly a meaningful thing that um, it will be recorded and uh, we will send um, a picture to over to England uh, as this particular incident has been recorded and uh, it will be um, added to the rest of the other celebrations that uh, are being celebrated around the world. Uh, I ask that when you depart that you do so cautiously because we have to take down the, banner, the, the barriers and uh, we'll, we'll close up here in a bit. Uh, we'll, let the, uh, we'll let the beacon burn for a few more minutes and um, we will now uh, stand and sing God Save the Queen. Good night. Thanks for coming out. Good night, buddy.